Oh, hey. What's up out there in games? Oh. Man, that's what to see. Give you an update, man, on my cycle I was running. Short cycle, high dosage. Test E and Ostrin. And, yeah, yeah. So, here's what. First of all, big jump in strength. Incredibly strong. I can lift an ox and lift the world. Feel good. Um, quick muscle tightness. Now's the problem. Went to my head, fellas. Got down, I was feeling real good, and re injured my pick. <laughs> Not being smart. Felt like I can lift the world, and wow. All in here. Just a couple of days ago, it was all purple. Starting to get back to normal, but just doesn't feel right. So, that really can give you a great update on a cycle because, well, I wasn't able to run it like I should. Um, you know, a couple of things I can tell you. Um, with the test and the ostrin. Now, uh, now, whatever I say here ain't for human consumption. Matter of fact, ostrin ain't illegal. So, if you're not testing with a... If you're not working out with something that look like this, it ain't for you. But if you got your animal and you're training, I'm talking to you. Now, with that said, increasing strength, increasing libido, crazy through the roof, uh, well-being, and everything felt good. And with that came this, this, this falsehood that I can lift the gym. Now. Mind over matter, but common sense over anything. I just use no common sense, man. I wasn't gonna spot. I only had on there 260. Matter of fact, up to about 245, it was feeling good. But now at 260, when I go right here, right in this divot right here, it feels like it's really hot, and that's not right. So, um, I wanted to make maximum gains on this cycle because. This is all based on the theory that my doctor friend Frisco has. He says that he gives his client short cycles, high dosage, that uh, for maximum gains and minimum side effects. Now, I can trust that. Look, feel good. No tenderness in the nipples because they're gyno. Uh, feeling good. Actually, I feel that I've lost to maintain or keep on this, that I get some good definition of size and cuts. Even in my... Uh, Guys, you know, there's something that comes with training, man, and it's being smart, and I just wasn't smart. I hurt myself pretty bad. So I've been in the gym last two days. I was putting off this this update because I really wanted to come and tell you guys something. Um, with some Now, one thing has happened. So my high blood pressure is high. My blood pressure is elevated a lot, and I don't know if that's because it's a jolt to my system. I don't know if it's because I'm in pain. I don't really know. Um, so I reached out to my boy Seth, and let's see here. He got me some stuff here. He's going to send me, and the phone's dead. It's going to help me out naturally with my blood pressure. But what I think, what I can do now, there are studies that show elevated TRT can raise your blood pressure. Now, typically and historically, my family has high blood pressure. Most people do. You know what I'm saying? So it's elevated, kind of alarmingly high. So I'm going to cut my TRTs down to 125 twice a week. Now, it's the same dosage, but I'm thinking a shorter uh, injection um, dosages spread over a week might I hit my body as hard. Ostrin, I'm still at 30 milligrams, so... It's my last week, so I'm going to really do this, man. I was thinking, hell, I really can't lift heavy. I got to lift light. I got to use uh, form over brute force, which you always should do. But I got to more focus on high rep, low weight. I'm going to kick my arm strength to about 35. Matter of fact, I'm going to go 15, 20, or 15, 30, 45 milligrams, which is incredibly high. For the last week and see what I feel, see how, how it happens. Come back to you. Right now, I feel good. Um, I am getting those pumps, the back pumps. Early in the session in the gym, when I'm starting to lift, my first and second set feels like my fifth and sixth. 
So the blood is definitely flowing. I definitely get a good pump. I definitely feel big and full. But, uh, and I'm strong. But old pet didn't help me out. So that's it. That's my update, guys. Wish I had more exciting stuff to bring you. But I have to be honest right now. I flew around and nigga damn near and pulled a muscle. Or broke a sack or broke a sack. Jacked up. Right here. All right. So. But I got some good stuff coming. Now check this out on newroids.com. A little birdie told me there's some new SARMs coming out. I said it. New SARMs. About eight of them. New. So new. We call them alphabets. You know, A, B, C, D, 233s, and shit like that. You know, some scientific motherfucking names. You know, uh, some new games coming out. Some new stuff that's going to change the industry. It's going to change the way we work out. See, these SARMs are still growing. They don't like us talking about it. YouTube don't want us talking about it. The government don't want us to have it, but they can't stop it. As long as there's somebody with glasses on in the laboratory with the idea of making something that can treat illness and make us bigger and make money, it's going to continue to go it's going to continue to come to us. We're going to test it. We're going to give it to you. So you can test on your monkey rabbit. And in return, you can get a, 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 a beastly. Like, we want to be beastly. See, I'm 48 years old, guys. I'm an old motherfucker. But I don't feel so bad, man. Side story. So I went to a basketball game at my old high school, Wednesday. I'm walking through the... Um, the arena. Now I'm at my old high school and things look small. You go back to your old high school, things just don't look the same. Like damn, little benches and little bleachers and stuff. And I see all these guys around there, man. And I'm thinking, damn, there's some big dudes. I mean, I don't know why I thought that. There's just some big. I mean, they all had we call they called the dad bod. They all had uh, they was wearing shorts. This was a basketball game. They had the little calves, little legs, and then this is the side view. So this is the back. And the stomach, a little bit of the arms. And I walked over there and I went to school with all of them. And I felt good, man. I actually felt good because I wasn't the cookie cutter fat dude. Fat father figure. You feel me? It showed like I had some kind of effort and pride in myself. I'm not saying I'm not I'm not body shaming anybody. I'm not but it's really easy to be normal. For us that lift weights, especially get up older age, remember, we're not normal. It takes an effort. We got the same responsibilities. We got the same concerns, same financial ability. We got the same wife. We got jobs and everybody else. So to take time and work on yourself, be proud. It's an achievement in itself. With that being said, newroyce.com. Get your fit. Get your 15% off. Go to my website. Get the merch. Get the merch. My website, get the merch, help a brother out. Get the chains, help a brother out. Peace, like, subscribe, with trimmers of fitness. I'm sorry, I make a lot more videos, man. Let's get back to the old school ways. You know, YouTube had punked me off, took 10,000 of my subs, scared me, but I don't care. I'm back. They let a nigga have another YouTube channel. They shouldn't have did it. Peace, like, subscribe, with trimmers of fitness. Remember, it ain't for human consumption, but it looks good on you. Peace. I cut this motherfucker off. <laughs>